have an announcement to make. I have officially made um, my own YouTube channel and it's going to be called Life Like Baby Mama and um, right now I am uploading all the previous videos that I have made so please go check that out. And today's video is going to be the as promised showering video of Megan. So, here she is. She just woke up and you know she's wearing her little jammies. So now we're going to shower her. Uh, here's what you will need. You will need some baby powder. I suggest Don Johnson's because it's for um, really soft and very sensitive skin. Um, baby lotion, uh, mostly hypoallergenic so that the it, the lotion doesn't react to the vinyl. Um, a spray bottle with some fabric softener in it. If you've seen my last. Uh, my last video, the tips and tricks video, you will know what I'm talking about and why I need this. Some Draft Laundry Stain Remover. You can easily find this at Babies R Us. This bottle is like $4. Um, some duct tape. <laughs> um, if you don't have a body parts here, <laughs> they will be disturbing. So, she's a cloth body. Alright, so I'm going to fold the diaper here real quick. Don't worry, it only takes me like three seconds to unfold this diaper. Press. Okay. There you go. Alright, so first thing you want to do is take a Q-tip and dip it in your cup of water like so. Kind of like rinse it out here. And then you want to look for any places on your reborn doll that has dust like if your reborn has open eyes you want wanna do the eyes because those gather lots of dust and especially around the nose and if you have like an open nose just um, inside the nostrils alright I put too much water in here don't if your reborn has an open mouth you definitely want to go inside the mouth um, you definitely want to go inside the ears as well don't put too much water in it though. Um, definitely want to go under the ears. So I'm just gonna see like this ear has a lot of dust in it. Alright, so now you do the hands. Okay, so I finished cleaning out all the dust particles from her and, oops, there's hair on the pillow. And the next thing you want to do is you want to wax her. And what I mean by wax is, um, you know, use the duct tape or the body lint brush to eliminate all those hairs. But before you want to do that, you have to, um, well, if you're using my method, of course, um, you have to get your washcloth and then you have to shake the bottle and you spray it. Hold on, it's not spraying out. Okay, there you go. You have fire. Okay. So you might want to get, you want to get it damp and then, oops. No! I sprayed some on my baby, my poor little baby. I am so sorry. Okay, that was not on purpose. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I am so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. The video has been delayed. Okay, so, without spraying the fabric softener on your baby, put the towel under her head, his or her head, of course, and then just wrap it around like so and then just kind of put it like that then you just want to without spraying your baby just wet 
the top of the washcloth with the fabric softener and kind of just rub it in. That way the fabric softener will get through, through the towel into the hair. But it won't put in too much. So now you have to wax her and you just take a little duct tape. Hold on. Pardon the disgustingness. Ah, okay. That was not supposed to. This is the most embarrassing video I've ever did. So, hold on. There you go. Alright. We should probably. Okay. I know. Ah, there. You go. Okay. So you just take the duct tape and you just put it on her and just take it off. And it will take the hair off. And then you just do it all throughout the body until you're done. Front, back, and sleep. Alright, so I already have a full hair thing. I know it's disgusting. So just throw the tape out and then start a new one. Hopefully I won't break it this time. There you go. Finally. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. So I'm done waxing her, and this is the second tape used. It's like a lot of hair. Um, so I'm just gonna turn her around. Sorry if you think waxing her is cruel, but a girl's <laughs> got to do what a girl's got to do. Okay. All right. So now you want to um. After you wax her, you want to start with the uh, lotion and um, you just have to put just a little bit, like that much, like a pea sized because if you put too much lotion on one body part, it makes it shiny and makes it look unrealistic. Now the body lotion is to make the baby smell well like a baby. And don't forget the ears and then you take a little more and you just put it and you just keep doing this until you're done um, body lotioning all the vinyl parts See, that's what happens. See, you can't put too much on or else he's going to be shiny. Alright, so I finished lotioning her up. And then the next thing you want to do is you take your baby powder. And I cannot do this because I do this over a carpet. So you can't use the baby powder. So just take a little bit, like that much. Just go like that, kind of even it out on your hands, and then you just put it on the cloth body. And then you just keep doing this, and then you do the same thing for the back. You only need to do this, the, the process, the 
putting on the baby powder and shaking your hands on it two times. Yeah. Alright, so I'm done powdering her up. And then once you do the powder, you can, um, I think that's it. Wow, that was the fastest mm -hmm. bath I've ever made. Oh, yes. Now you can take off your towel. And you just fold it up and let it dry because it's fabric softener. What's it going to do to a cloth? Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so then you just want to take your brush and kind of distribute the fabric softener. Just do it really lightly if you're not using a baby brush. Like, really, really lightly. So, just brush it a little bit. And then just smooth it out. Let me get it closer. Huh? Let me get it closer. Just smoothing out her hair. And it's done. So... The last thing you want to do if you're giving her a bath and you're taking her out of clothes is you get your dress laundry stain remover and then it's really easy to do this, just a couple of spritz. And you just flare it on, spray it. Oh, come out. Okay. There you go. And just kind of shake it. Shake it again. Alright, and now I'm going to do this with the top. Huh? You have water there. Okay. Okay. Oop. I'm dropping a lot of things. Okay, so I'm done with that. Oops. <laughs> and then your bath is done. Your rewind's all clean. So now I'm gonna put her. Get the cup of water out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outfit, and then of course I probably don't have to teach you how to put on an outfit because, like, I learned how to put on outfits um, when I was like what nine. Let's put on her diaper. Mm, don't forget to. Take out the little corner of it so that you can conceal most of the cloth bottom part that you can. Oops, clumsy first. Alright, you guys remember this Cinderella puffball onesie. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this one on her today. Make sure to conceal this part, so you just want to, oops. The bottoms on the top are loose. I get to, well, oh and yeah, button. I forgot about these little buttons here. Alright, so as you can see, you see the Cinderella puff balls, but it's no big deal. You gotta give credit to the to the to the cam lady on the next video. My hands are numb. Oh. <laughs> okay. See, it's like this outfit is what? Sorry, dear. Three to six months, and look how big it is on her. See, it's like this is up to here, and then it has all this but extra. The but these are easily. This can the big onesie is easily concealable with pants. You just have to put on some pants and then you can see how big the the onesie is. Pants. Yeah, this is the one with ruffle butt. <laughs> yeah, really we cute. have a full shot of that in a little bit. Yeah. 
Alright, these are, you can always roll up the pants like that. I just push them up like that. Alright, so now I'm going to put on her little matching socks, which is the ones with the hearts on it. You can just there. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna put on the DIY um, headband that we made. So it goes on really nice because we measured her head, so it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. Made by your mother, thank you. Yeah, she did it. But I did put the rhinestones on. It was her little baby gift. Alright, so her headband is on. Isn't it so beautiful? Alright, and she's all ready for the day. Yeah, Yay. So beautiful. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I do want to thank my camera lady, my mother, because her hands are numb. And um, the next video is going to be me. Um, well, it's going to be a surprise video, actually. So you're going to have to wait till we make that video, which we're going to do in like 10 seconds. So, <laughs> But it's going to take me at least three days to edit it and post it on YouTube. So, anyway, until then, say bye.